Let me give you a breakdown on growing summer squash. You do not have to grow it in mounds. It's easier in the market garden mulching setup. Four or five in the mounds so that they can flow down the mound and you will thin them to just one or two. A mistake I commonly see is that people don't succession plant these and so they have tons and tons and tons whenever they don't need it all. I have a space because I'm gonna succession plant it in a week or two. It's also a good idea to grow nasturtium with your squashes because they attract all the aphids and so it's a trap plant. Nasturtium are also edible, both the flowers and the leaves. The leaves are way more peppery than the flowers are. Don't forget that squashes have male and female parts and that's how the pollination and fruit grows. Borage seeds are also a good idea to plant around your summer squashes. We'll help pollinators do it. You can do it by hand. The less that you have to do and the more nature takes care of it, that better. Summer squashes are typically a bush type of squash instead of a vining type of squash.